Slate is a part of our story in Wales. Lightweight, durable roofing slates from Welsh quarries and mines were exported all over the world. From 1780 to 1940, Wales produced as much as a third of the world's output. Gwynedd was the heartland of this industry. Here, six of our most famous slate landscapes have been recognised by UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation, as a World Heritage Site. World Heritage celebrates Gwynedd's global exports and the way the industry has transformed people's life and work, creating the rich culture of the quarry communities. Cloch bryn eglwys Eich niol ddyn galw gyson o chwarelwm i'r gydaw waw At greigiau noedd bryn eglwys sy'n segur yn ymlaen naw Ddeseiniar un mor gyson ar derfyn dydd o waith I'r chwarelwm i'r droi am adref ar eich ifedig daith Ond cloch y llan a seiniau yn gyson y prynhawn, y llwch a gorau feddain yn gynnar, gynnar iawn. Quarries and mines high on mountain slopes and in deep valleys. The transport systems which served them, the houses of their wealthy owners, and the communities which sprang up to house workmen and their families. These are what make up our slate landscape. Yn halws arn yr stalwm fe welen lyfni lan ar ddol hynafol honno a gymell hyn o gan. Ac megi sgwyrth y gwelem ar lan hen afon hyd y ddol a ddylai pebyn yn splander bore'r bi. Yn halws arn y sywaith, ni welwn lyfni mwy, na gwartheg gwyrthiol pebyn yn eu cynefu'n hwy. Bydan yn bysgodd bywyd a thrawiaeth llanw a thrai. Pyngom ar ddol i haglog daeth chwyddfa ar glodfa glai. Welsh slate roofed the terraced houses built for the growing population of Britain's industrial towns and cities. Wales's output in the 1800s would have covered well over 13 million of these. It was also used on prestigious buildings around the world, such as the Royal Exhibition Building in Melbourne, Australia, covered in Penryn Quarry slate, and Copenhagen Town Hall in Denmark, roofed in Festiniog slate. Technology from the Gwynedd quarries was adopted all over the world. The narrow gauge railways built to move slates from the quarries to the sea were visited by engineers from Asia to America and from Africa to Australia, who built similar systems in their own countries. Welsh quarrymen were in demand around the world and went on to manage slate quarries in Canada, America, Ireland, Cornwall, Australia, Italy and Germany. The slate industry drew its workers from nearby farms and cottages. Fathers, sons and brothers work together in the quarries and mines. This is why these areas have the highest percentage of Welsh speakers today. Over 70% of the population of Gwynedd Slate Valleys speak Welsh. The spirit and pride remain strong. Community projects have kept memories alive and shared this story with the next generation, such as our young Slate ambassadors who have championed the World Heritage Site. Cwm penant, yng hesail y mwy lydd unig, cwm tacaf y cymoedd yw, cynefu'n y carlwm ar cadno, a hendref yr hebog a'r yw. Ni feddaf ledd troed ohono, Na chymaint a dafad na chi, ond byddaf yn teimlo fi nos wrth yn hân, mae arglwydd y cwm y dwi fi. Today, musicians, poets, writers and artists are inspired by the slate landscape. Like the quarrymen who met in the caban, took part in eisteddfodau and established silver bands. Nowadays, you can see downhill biking trails, the 
the world's longest and fastest zip wires, food and drink production, including cheese, wine, gin and beer, glamping, a rallying course, underground trampolines, a diving centre, and of course, slates being quarried and split.